The purpose of a coating is typically to protect a structure or product against a number of external factors such as temperature, water, chemicals and also physical impact. Certain materials and coatings will need to expand, flex and bend either throughout the production stage or during the service life of the product they are used for. Manufacturers must ensure that their materials or coatings can withstand the stresses they are most likely to be subjected to. These could range from temperature differences all the way to mechanical or human impacts. For example, a coating designed for use in the coil industry should be able to withstand the deformation it will be subjected to as it is formed into the desired shape during production. Coils are frequently bent at sharp angles, but how tight can a bend be before there is damage? Any deterioration in the coating will compromise its adhesion, appearance and its ability to protect the underlying substrate. Another example could be the exterior of a passenger aircraft. If a plane flies out of Alaska and lands in Nevada, its exterior will expand and contract due to the temperature changes. We need to make sure that the exterior and the coating on the exterior is flexible enough to withstand these changes without causing damage or discoloration. Deformation or damage of a coating can significantly reduce its protective quality as well as affecting the product's appearance. Tests in the laboratory prior to production are therefore essential to determine a coating's suitability for its designed application. In order to characterise a coating's performance to deformation and physical impact, a number of repeatable and reproducible tests have been developed. Elcometer offers a range of gauges to test a coating's ability to resist deformation and physical impact. These include mandrel bend testing, cupping testing and impact testing. A conical mandrel can be defined as a gently tapered cone-shaped mandrel against which a material can be forged or shaped with its diameter gradually increasing. The Alcometer 1510 Conical Mandrel Bend Tester has a diameter ranging from 3.2mm all the way up to 38.1mm. During a conical mandrel bend test, a coated metal sheet is bent over a conical mandrel. This process will produce results which will test the coating in a gradual manner. This tester should be used first to provide an indication as to where to start your test on the cylindrical mandrel tester. This tester will allow you to approximate the point of failure for your coating and also saves on panels. A cylindrical mandrel can be defined as a gently tapered cylinder, similar to the conical mandrel but with straight parallel sides. Such mandrels are used with the Alcometer 1506 and 1500 cylindrical mandrel bend testers. During a cylindrical mandrel bend test, a metal sheet coated with the material under test is bent over a range of ever-decreasing cylindrical mandrels. This can be done by hand, using the Alcometer 1500 cylindrical mandrel on a stand, or for a more consistent and customizable test, the Alcometer 1506 cylindrical mandrel bend tester with height adjustable rollers and bending lever can be used. The coating on the metal sheet should then be inspected after every bend. This will allow you to determine a more precise point of failure for your coating by evaluating flaws such as cracks, discoloration, gloss change and adhesion of the coating to the panel. Similarly, as you punch out an embossed feature on a pre-coated substrate, the coating is also put under stress, stretching it and potentially causing failures. This can be simulated using a cupping tester, where the coated test panel is clamped into place and the ball of known diameter is gradually pushed through. This allows you to observe the exact point at which the damage occurs as displayed by the gauge. Cupping tests can determine the extent a coating can be drawn out or deformed before it fractures by gradually increasing the depth of the indentation. Perhaps you would like to test the coatings used on a car door or bumper to physical impact. 
This is just one of the reasons we have developed the Elcometer 1615 Variable Impact Tester. Tests conducted using this gauge fall into one of two categories, direct and indirect. During a direct impact test, a coated metal sheet or sample is placed on the die, which is attached to the base plate. Your sample is then fixed into position by a clamp. A defined weight fitted with a known hemispherical punch diameter is lifted to a predetermined height as indicated by the guide tube. The height from which the weight drops is set using the adjustable collar device. The weight is then released. An indirect test consists of the weight falling onto a hemispherical punch, which is resting on the sample. The resulting deformation is observed for elongation, cracking and peeling using the included magnifier. Elcometer's range of physical test equipment spans more than just physical impact and deformation. Other tests such as gloss, abrasion, adhesion, and dry film thickness are just as vital for assessing the performance of a coating. For further information about Elcometer's range of physical test equipment, click one of the links on screen or simply visit www.elcometer.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to the Elcometer channel to be notified of any new videos.